Yo, what's up guys, it's Andy the GD Script Dude and in this video we are venturing outside of the scope of GD Script and into the realms of shaders, shader code. What we're going to do is we're going to make some shader code to make a, a color rectangle or a panel into a progress bar in a very cool way. So here we have the panel. You can see that it starts from green and goes to red. And what we need to do here is access the shader that we've created. So we can click on the panel and shader. You can see it goes shader, shader, parameters. And where is it? Where are our parameters? Edit. Okay, we've got the... It says filter properties. What's going on here, man? Let's go back a step. And um, we have this panel. And, oh yeah, here we go. Material shader. Go to shader. We've assigned this shader before. So... We're going to edit the shader. There we go. We've got shader parameters. And we have the value. Let's slide the... Oh, look at that. Whee, woo. We've got the shader value. And then the thickness. We've got like small, big thickness to small, thin thickness. There you go. And the smoothing, that is like the edge, you know, the edge can be very like granular, or like edgy, if you like. Let's uh, expand this out. Like, if you do that, it's like all over the place. And then if we hold the shift button, boom, it is one by one. So, let's go back and... Oh, this is the offset. Yeah, offset is the starting position for the value. Like if you put the value down to say low value, the offset is like that. If we put it back to zero, how do you do that? Double click, hit zero, return. That's it. The top is the origin. And then we can go the whole thickness value. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. There, there we go. And then the FG means foreground color. So we've, we've set up a, a gradient. This is fun. Not new. Oh, I did the gradient. How about just double clicking? No. Uh, edit the gradient. Well, that's fun, isn't it? And, oh, edit. There we go. So I'm I'm a bit new to editing gradients, but there's these slider things you do. Like if I click that one, that's the green. So we could change it to blue. There you go. But let's. Uh, how about control Z? Will it go back? No. Well, yeah. So, set it to green. And this one, click that. That is orange, that's the middle point. We can move it around. And then the red. Yeah, so you can see you could change the red. But let's leave it at red. Okay. And up here we've got the back arrow. We can go back into the what we we were doing. Let's just check if we didn't mess everything up. What do we do? We're still in the gradient. Oh yeah, there we go. The value. Let's check. Does it still work? Orange and red. Yes, it appears to still work. And the thickness, yeah, we showed you that before. Offset, boing, boing. 
It's good, isn't it? Very, very good. The back, we uh, It looks like it's black here. Even though it's got, I've got noise. What's going on? Um, oh, it's empty. That's why I just selected noise empty. Say you wanted, to, if you wanted to do something cool, you could do a new open simplex noise. There you go. Or clear it, making it back to black. Where is it? Load. Oh, hold on. Yep. So what have we done? How'd you go back? Clear. I clicked that, and then I went clear. There we go, it's cleared. And let's have a look at this one. This is, uh, I resized it, so, you know, it looks, you can squash it down. And, uh, yeah, the material, shading material. Let's look at this, edit the shading material. And you can see we for the foreground we have we have this simplex noise I think it was called simplex noise or open yeah we got it there new open simplex yeah you can put noise there so yeah it looks pretty cool and then the background where are we the background I created a uh, gradient, a new gradient texture. So yeah, you can make a gradient. And the offset, jing jong, like that. Not starting at the top, and the offset moves it around. Pretty cool, huh? I'm <laughs> I was adjusting the smoothing there. Zero, you got these ragged edges, so just to make it a little bit more to remove the ragged edge and then if you want to make it look like a pipe or something you increase the the smoothing and yeah and then you get the other things there so that is um oh how about the code where do we go to get to the code we click that we edit no, we don't. What do we do? We click that and we go to material. Edit the material. And, oh, the code is there, of course. There is the code. So you can go and edit this code. So that is a quick overview of this amazing new shader that I created called Zelda Progress. But actually there is a gist online that I will share with you in the comments or rather in the description. I will link to it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video over and out from Andy, the GD Script Dude.